Archaeology is meant to answer our questions about the past and, if we're lucky, give us some insight into our present and future. But sometimes, artifacts give rise to mysteries that will never be solved. Archaeology is an extremely interesting science, and especially the part that studies the prehistoric period. And since numerous human remains mainly include skull bones and teeth, we can say that here science is tied to the teeth. This video will have a lot of information about ancient teeth. I will talk about several archaeological finds and show the remains of an ancient shark, which is 91 million years old. Hi, friend! you're on the Kurtop channel. Rare grave of a warrior from the time of Christ In the UK, archaeologists have unearthed a tomb dating from the late Iron Age to the early Roman era, 1st century BC, 50 AD, in which a warrior with weapons was probably buried. A rare burial was discovered in Wolverton, Sussex. It was found by a chance during the survey of the site allotted for the construction of a housing complex. Archaeologists did not find human remains in the grave. They probably just decomposed over time. The coffin, which apparently was wooden, has not been preserved either. However, the burial is interesting for the artifacts that were in it. So, four vessels made of local clay were found in the grave. These were widely used vessels for storing food at that time. Between two of them, scientists found a spearhead. Apparently, some metal objects were laid at the feet of the deceased, the shape and purpose of which is still a mystery to researchers. An iron sword was laid along the body. It was in sheath made of some sort of organic material. The scabbard was decorated with a copper alloy mount with a very complex ornament. According to archaeologists, the burial belonged to a warrior. For Sussex, this is an extremely rare find. In addition, the objects found in the grave indicate that the warrior was not an ordinary person, but a very important person in his society. Determining the sex of a person by teeth more recently, scientists from the University of California, Davis, have developed a technique that can be used to determine the sex of the remains of the skeleton of ancient people from the proteins in the composition of the teeth. It is assumed that the technique will allow archaeologists to compile new data on the life of ancient people. Usually, the sex of ancient people is determined by the pelvic bones, but this does not always work. Children and adolescents do not yet have structural changes in the bones, so in such cases, it can be quite difficult to determine the sex. Teeth come to the rescue, but existing technologies for determining sex by teeth also far from ideal. With the help of sensitive mass spectrometry, with the preservation of teeth, it is possible to isolate the protein amelogenin involved in the formation of animal. In women, the amelogenin protein genes are located on the X chromosome, while in men, the protein genes are present on both the X and Y chromosomes. During the study, about 40 samples of tooth animal were studied, belonging to 25 different people living in the modern period and 100 7300 BC. Peptides, specific for the female form of amelogenin, were found in all samples, for the male form in 26. The researchers also note that their method minimizes the effect on animal, which is important for the preservation of the remains. It is cheaper and does not require sterile conditions. It is believed that the new technique will be used in conjunction with other popular methods for analyzing archaeological remains, such as DNA analysis, morphological analysis, or analysis using stable isotopes. Ancient Shark 91 million years old Meet Cretidus hortonorum. This is a 91 million year old fossilized shark that was accidentally discovered in Kansas and took paleontologists by surprise. Thanks to a new and unexpected discovery, scientists have been able to identify an entirely new species of prehistoric shark that once inhabited present day Kansas. The 91 million year old shark lived at a time when dinosaurs roamed the earth. The creature is believed to have grown to about 5 meters 17 feet in length. Although experts only have a partial skeleton of the creature, they say the shark was most like white large, though not much larger than modern white sharks. 
However, experts have shown that their models suggest the creature could have grown up to 7 meters in length. During the excavations, 134 shark teeth, 61 vertebrae, as well as 23 scales and numerous fragments of calcified cartilage of the creatures were found. The shark fossils belong to a genus of sharks called lemniforms, which includes great white sharks, sand tiger sharks, but also many other well-known species. Swiss watch in a 400-year-old tomb the watch case back is engraved with Swiss, the arrow stopped long ago, and it is not known how many years they showed 1006. An amazing artifact was discovered during the filming of a movie dedicated to the excavation and opening of tombs by Chinese researchers of antiquities. At the time the object was found, scientists and two journalists from the city of Shanghai were at the excavation site. They clearly realized that the tomb was being opened for the first time in 400 years since the reign of the Ming dynasty. From an interview with Huan Yang, an archaeologist involved in the excavation. When we were clearing the ground near the coffin, a thin metallic sound was heard. The first thing we thought was that a small pebble had fallen the broke of a rock. We found a solid object and at first thought it was a ring, but when it was cleared of the earth and examined, it turned out that it was a watch. So the excavation of a tomb with an obvious content turned into a quest with many questions. Around the same time, land exploration took place near the Fushal Amsi community, where a certain century mobile phone was discovered. It was not clear how, when, and why people placed this antique treasure in an ancient burial. To understand this, experts from Beijing were invited to the excavation site. Ufologists and seekers of the inexplicable did not wait for their research. The versions of what happened in the town were called the visit of a UFO as well as the creation of a time machine with the help of which it was possible to go back. To carry out this mission, it was simply necessary to go back 3-4 centuries in the past because the Swiss watch began to be produced in 1880. The Swiss watch trademark and then Swiss mate began to be used 140 years ago. To apply it to products, manufacturers must comply with several conditions. The mechanism must be produced in Switzerland, it must be built into the accessory, all tests and checks must be carried out on the territory of the country, the watch must consist of 50 or more percent of Swiss parts. The watch can be considered Swiss only if these instructions are followed. But how such an invention got into the tomb, why the watch was so small that it was confused with the ring, is still unknown. Giant War Memorial In Syria, archaeologists have identified the huge mound as a 4,000-year-old memorial to honor warriors who fell in battle. Outwardly, it resembles the ancient Egyptian steppe pyramid at Saqqara. This hill is known as the White Monument. It is so called because of the white, sunshine in building materials used in its construction. The hill itself was first excavated by archaeologists several decades ago, but only now it was possible to thoroughly examine it. This structure was built around 2400 BC. Moreover, the mound already existed here. Ancient people modified it by carving rocks of horizontally arranged steps. As it turned out only now, each of these steps contains at least 30 graves sealed with layers of plaster. Scientists know that all burials were arranged in accordance with the funerary practices of those times. The dead were carefully laid in the graves along with military equipment. In the burials, weapons were found, as well as the skins of, of horses of local breeds. Professor Anne Porter from the University of Toronto noted that there is a clear pattern in the structure of burials. Thus, on one side of the memorial, warriors covered with horse skins and buried in paired graves, while on the other side, soldiers with weapons but without horse skins were buried. According to scientists, this may indicate a kind of hierarchy. Apparently, on the one hand, only those soldiers who fought in chariots were buried, and in the other, infantrymen. The researchers also found the giant memorial was not actually a huge mass grave of warriors who died in one battle, as one might assume, but analyzers showed that the deceased were reburied here for some time after their death. New Statue of Emperor Octavian Augustus the small town of Isernia in the Italian region of Moles is not well known to tourists, although its history is at least 2,500 years old. 
The Samnite city of Isernia was once located here. Then, like everything Italian, it went to Romans. In the Middle Ages, the city also did not excel, but it survived both the Saracens and Frederick the Great who destroyed it quite badly, and several earthquakes did not benefit Isernia. And in 1944, he, like Pompey and Tivoli, was subjected to aerial bombardment by the Allies. One of the sites of the city has always been the medieval fortress walls, but they did not receive proper treatment and began to collapse. The recent destruction prompted the city authorities to speed up the solution to the problem. Archaeologists began to rescue excavations in places where they are supposed to place supports according to the project. These works led to a remarkable result. A marble head of a large statue was found. According to experts, they immediately recognized the Emperor Augustus by the characteristic features of the face known for many sculptural images. The height of the find is 35 centimeters. The head belongs to a larger sculpture, a bust or rather a full-length statue. In this case, its height should be a little over 2 meters. Such statues of emperors were usually intended for installation in city forums or in temples dedicated to the imperial cult. True, neither the forum nor the temple in Isernia have yet been opened. Archaeologists estimate that the hat was made between 20 BC and 10 AD, possibly during the lifetime of Augustus, who died in 14 AD. For the walk, Carrara marble from Lunigiana was chosen, one of the most expensive varieties of this stone. Relics of the Lost World washed up on the beach in the Netherlands, a nurse named Wille van Windergen found hundreds of artifacts tens of thousands of years old on the beach near her home, which proved the existence of Doggerland in ancient times, a vast land inhabited by people which is now at the bottom of the North Sea. When Windergen made her first discovery in 2013, then, walking along the beach, she accidentally discovered a mammoth tooth washed ashore by the sea. Since then, the search for antiquities has become her passion. Now the nurse's collection has more than 500 items. A few months ago, she decided to get the opinion of experts on her findings, contacted them and showed them the collection. The experts were amazed. Among the finds were relics that are extremely important for science. For example, the collection included bonefish hooks and human remains several thousand years old. Archaeologists have discovered other prehistoric objects, the oldest of which are 800,000 years old. This suggests that the Doggerlands went through several stages of settlement. The most ancient tools probably belong to representatives of the Homo antecessor species, a dead and human evolutionary branch. By the way, similar artifacts are often found on the coast of Great Britain. According to scientists, all these relics are traces of the lost world, which was once inhabited and abounded in a large number of plants and animals. During the last ice age, sea levels were 70 meters lower than they are now. Unfortunately, archaeologists did not have the opportunity to excavate on the seabed. The waters here are restless. According to experts, Doggerland could occupy about 180,000 square kilometers of land, and its area was four times the size of the modern Netherlands. Discovered the grave of Asterix or Obelix. A fantastic find, the burial of a noble Gallic warrior in the full dress, with a ritually bent sword, with a ritually broken spear, with a shield and a preserved shield decoration. With a magnificent helmet, an open work crest, crest attachment, knee pads, buckles, clasps, as well as amphoras with wine and grain, the mysterious warrior lay in the most elaborate war grave ever found in England. The find is dated to around 50 BC, the late Iron Age, an exciting period of change when this part of southern Britain was undergoing economic and cultural influence from the Romans and was on the verge of a full blown Roman invasion. The warrior is about 5 feet. 8 inches tall, about 40 years old, with the very strong legs of a rider and an unusually developed right hand used to a heavy sword. The weight of the finds is not yet publicly available, but I think that it will be soon described in detail. Experts believe that the size of the tail on the helmet should be impressive. Skeletal analysis shows no signs of mortal wounds or trauma. In more detail, the cause of death can be shown by chemical analysis and ultrasound screening. An analysis of the warrior's teeth 
teeth showed that he probably came from the region of northeastern Gaul. This may well correspond to what history says about that period. The Roman invasion of Gaul, after fierce battles with the legions of Caesar, the flight of the defeated Gauls to Britain. Archaeologists do not consider the grave to be the tomb of Com. Maybe in one of them they will find the same magic potion. Scientists who found the mysterious warrior from Burstead have already dubbed him Obelix for his mighty bones and apparently very great strength. Perhaps the mysterious warrior was a significant figure in the resistance, bringing with him a history of his own war and defeat, as well as strategic military knowledge on how to deal with the Roman army. During this period of the late Iron Age, the time of the beginning of civilization, even the beginning of urbanization, Gallic coins are found. They are found in many excavations around Chichester and Sl Silchester. And so I want to ask the question, what would have happened if the Romans had not defeated the Gauls? Perhaps the defeat is due to the sudden death of the warrior who was found in this grave. Figurine of Lovenmensch, Lion Man. The Lovenmensch figurine is the oldest known piece of a figure art in the world. This is an ivory sculpture of a man lion, which is between 35 and 40,000 years old. The sculpture was first discovered in 1939 by geologist Otto Felting in the Hollenstein Stadel Cave. By the outbreak of World War II, caused exploration of the grave of the cave to be put on hold. The fragments of the sculpture were forgotten for over 30 years at the Alm Museum until archaeologist Jahem Hen began to put them together. More details of the figure were discovered in 1962, and these were added to Kant's reconstruction in 1982. In 2009, further excavations were carried out, and smaller fragments were discovered. Today, the statue has been almost completely restored and is on display at the Alm Museum. The video has come to an end, and by tradition, I want to ask you to put a fat thumb up under the video, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell. And soon you will see a new video on the channel. Thanks for your views! Bye everyone!